Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. It's a TGIF. Make it a great one, folks. And ow! It's a full moon, too, baby. Gotta love it. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key in a lock, a match that fits. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 25, NASDAQ up 51, S&P's up 9.5, gold contract down $7.20, trading at 1,315 an ounce. Silver. Off three cents at $21.91 an ounce. Platinum flat at $1,438 an ounce. Copper, three twenty nine dollars a pound. Light sweet crude, 100.80 a barrel. Bonds flat at $134.03. King dollar down 18 ticks at $79.70. Euro, $136.85. And the yen is trading out there at $97.82. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so check it out. We hit today 1745.31. Now, what is that 1745.31? Well, it, it's an exact A to B equals C to D. Now, this is separate than an ABC structure on the way up, folks. So let's go over what we have here. Uh, when we came off the bottom in... August, August 28th, the first leg up goes from 16.27 on the SPX up to 17.29.86. When we broke on Fed Day, which was the 18th of September, we broke the August high with volume. Okay, so when you break a high with volume, it's like, okay, your probability is you have an ABC structure on the way up. And what that is, is that you do your first leg, you pull back, slight pull back, you do your second leg, you take the swing point out with volume, you get an A to B ABC structure on the way up. The, the crucial part to remember is that you have to take the swing point out with volume. Okay. So what happens with the S&P? Well, the S&P backed down more than a 0.618 retracement. When it backs down more than a 0.618 retracement, that negates an ABC up. Now, now there's a separate structure, though. The separate structure is inside a Gottlieb structure, which is at A to B equals C to D. Well, guess what? We did the full one out here today. You know, I'm just going to go through each one of these indices because it's pretty cool where all these indices are right now. So, volume-wise, out here today, what we did... Uh, where the heck is she? Okay, one second. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, so we did... Volume-wise, we did... Um, look at this. What a trip. 880 million. So, you did, you did volume. You did 880 million on the NYSE, and on the NASDAQ, we did 1.9 billion. Okay, so... Let's go back to the, so the, the SPX has hit the A to B equals C to D. Now, let's go over to the Dow Industrials. We can take a look at the Dow Industrials. What you have with the Dow is this. Flat market, up 28 bucks. The Dow, what the Dow has done is this. Each and every retracement going all the way back to May has been a deep retracement. That's telling you the Dow is the weakest indice. We are at 15,399. Uh, the low of the high of the Dow is only 70 points higher. I suspect what you're going to see is that it's going to get into that level. Because what, what, what I want to show you here is that all these indices are going to be in harmony. And one's catching up with the other right now. Okay, NASDAQ Composite. NASDAQ Composite, folks, is the big dog in the street in a, in a huge way, too, not in a small way. The Composite, what the Composite did out here, she's up 51 bucks today, 1.9 billion versus 1.9. The number on the composite goes like this. She is already over the A to B, uh, the ABC structure on the way up. So she wants to do more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way up. We go back and we take a look at the SPY, so you can see these correlations. What the SPY did out here is this. The A to B equals C to D on the SPY, it's a 10-point structure, would be right where we are sitting right now. Uh, we did 131 million shares out here. She was taking out uh, 146 million in 203. So she's getting tired. Bottom line, she's up there. The three Qs. Inside the three Qs out here today, 
the A to B equals C to D, 1 to 1 is 81. Guess what? We're at 82.15. We do 34 million shares. What that, would, what that saying is that you're going to get an extension on this move. And inside the NDX 100 today, what we had was good old Google. Google, folks, was up $122. $1,011. That's where Google's at. Now, when you take it, that's all, not only all-time high, folks, okay? It's, it's all-time high in an extraordinary way. Um, if we take a look at an ABC structure up in Google, it's going to get really interesting because if this is ever a monthly ABC structure up, it's going to be insane. And conservatively, you know, it could be. Um, 636 can be your A point and uh, 9... 28, so about 200 and, 280 points will get you somewhere into uh, 1,100, you know, because you definitely, uh, now this would be on the monthly. Uh, right now on the monthly basis, what we've done thus far is 36 million shares, and uh, she's going to, she should be able to blow it away. It's 51 million when you take a look at that monthly basis. So uh, gold contract, let's take a look at gold. So what we have a gold is this. Gold is down 750 today. Guess what? That's a beautiful thing, folks. Uh, why? Because it's a Friday. <laughs> and gold on a Friday, folks, if they can smoke gold, that's when they smoke it. Guess what? Not going to happen. Why? Because what we had done yesterday is that we, well, first off, not just yesterday, what we had done on Wednesday is that Wednesday the gold market came down to 1251. That 1251 was coming into a swing going all over to the last and the first actually low in gold the first low in gold in a year and a half folks was the june low coming off the june low does a beautiful a to b equals c to the extension on the way up wide price spread accelerated volume did the whole ball of wax what ends up happening pulls all the way back test the just about at the lows not not the lows got there though that test was on light of volume and then this is the crucial part to understand then Wednesday, we had wide price spread accelerated volume. We ended up doing 216,000 contracts in the physical contract. That broke the downtrend that had been in place going all the way over since August 28th. So what you have inside this market right now, inside the physical market, is that your two separate benchmarks, uh, the 19th and 18th of September, that's the first level, nice acceleration on the way up. I suspect we're going to get up there. Then your next acceleration brings you up to the August highs. In this in this context, um, I suspect what you're going to see in the physical being is that it's going to try to spike that high, depending on how much cause we build underneath it, that it wants to spike that high. And then what you'll see um, is that it's going to try to get into this 1465 area. Bonds. We go take a look at the bond market. What we have with bonds is this. Bonds got over their swing point yesterday, has the juice over the swing point, we have two separate ABC structures on the way up. Uh, they, they, it built some cars. The 30-year bond right now is at 134. She's going to be making the run for 140. The 10-year, TYZ3, check this out. This is pretty neat, man. The 10-year, uh, that gets up to 127.11 today. It couldn't hold the price. We're at 126.27. That also had taken the B point out yesterday, took it out with volume. We did... Uh, 1.1 million shares yesterday. We are at uh, contracts, rather. We are at 126.27. This is an ABC structure that wants to go to 130. Uh, we get if we get 130 out of this 10-year, folks. Uh, what you'll see is that the 10-year will be trading out at around 2%. When we were at 132, the the 10-year, at least it's ever been, was 1.67%. And, of course, what that does, that kicks in a huge amount of um, mortgage money. They're very inexpensive. It's still inexpensive, but let me tell you something. When the 10 years are 2%, it is just amazing how inexpensive uh, it is. Uh, don't forget, folks, coming, let's see. So coming, this coming Tuesday is the 200th edition, uh, the 600th edition, 200, 600, 12 years. Uh, this Tuesday, October 22nd, is the 600th edition of the Gold Report. Uh, we're doing a special, and you have uh, this weekend until Monday to, to do this. Uh, the Gold Report is normally $85 a month. We're doing 60 editions of the Gold Report for $600. So if you want to take advantage of a, a great newsletter, take advantage of the second bottom coming off that bottom, 
It's only $10 a week. Go to the front page of TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We did now finish up 50, uh, 28. NASDAQ up 51. S&P's up 8.5. We're going to be right back.